Hey dolls, what's up? It's me, Miss Quiet. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Quiet. And you can make yourself at home, okay? You're gonna like it here, I think. There's drinks in my fridge. You can put your coats on my bed. Get comfortable, okay? Because today, you're gonna learn a little bit about me. So, we can be a little bit closer, you know? <laughs> yeah, so whatever. Let's get started. Um, today I'm gonna be answering some of your guys' frequently asked questions and I feel like this is time It's time because I've just been cranking out videos, but you guys like don't know who I am I love you guys so much. and I feel like you guys are so nice and stuff But I also I feel like I don't really talk about me very much and I feel like you guys should know who's talking to you at least a little bit So yeah, I'm gonna answer 15 questions today and yeah, if you have any more questions, you want me to make another video like this, feel free to comment it down below. This is gonna be a relaxed video, we're just chilling. So let me stop sitting up straight because there's no point. But fast, before I get started, I wanna let you guys know, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, you are absolutely welcome to. You can go right here, that's my at, that's my username, my handle, and feel free to follow me. And I think you should want to, but you don't got to. I just wanted to let you know that you have 100% permission to follow me on Instagram. So the first question today is, what do I use to edit? And I use iMovie, actually. And I really wish I had Final Cut Pro because it would be a lot easier. Because iMovie kind of does have some things that hold you back from editing efficiently. But it's okay. I'm, I'm not rich enough to have Final Cut Pro. And I remember back in the old days when I had Windows Movie Maker and I prayed for iMovie. I feel like it's wrong of me to sit here now and talk down on a site that I used to really pray that I had, you know. So I'm very grateful for iMovie. I really am. It's awesome. It's really a good place to start. I would say it's a great footing, but I'm ready for more. I'm ready to take my editing to the next level, and I do feel like iMovie holds you back in a lot of ways, but it's great for beginners. Yeah, I use iMovie, and then I utilize, like, downloading fonts online for different fonts and stuff, and I get green screen effects off of YouTube and download them, and then I put them on iMovie. Guys, I kind of know a lot about editing and stuff, and I feel like people ask me all the time, like, how do you make a channel? It's not a question I can answer like standing, you know, I can't just stand here and tell you how to make a channel I feel like I should make a series about how to make a channel so like it would show how to use iMovie for beginners And how to do green screen effects on iMovie and how to like make a banner just how to get your channel ready You know to be debuted. I would love to do that. So I'm, I'm actually gonna do that. I'm not gonna ask I'm gonna do that. Don't get mad But yeah, I just use iMovie to edit and do I use anything else? Not really I really just use iMovie and I download music from YouTube I use tight beats off YouTube for my background music free only don't use any ones that aren't free But yeah, that's what I do my second question that I was asked is if my name wasn't Miss Quiet if my channel name wasn't Miss Quiet what would it be? And actually, it would just be my name, which is Delaney Quiet. I've been thinking about changing my channel name to Delaney Quiet a lot recently, but then I'm thinking like, ugh, not to change my YouTube. And all my old videos tell me, oh, look at my baby hair sticking straight up. Oh my gosh. I want to change my channel name to Delaney Quiet, kind of. But then I feel like if I change my name to Delaney Quiet, I have to change my Twitter handle, I have to change my Instagram handle, I have to change my banner, and I have to also go back. I mean, I can't even go back, but like, all of my old videos point you to my other external links from Miss Quiet. And I just feel like, where's my hairbrush? Because this looks, I look ridiculous right now. I just feel like if I change my channel name to Delaney Quiet, it would be too much. I feel like it'll just confuse everyone, and I don't want to confuse anyone. I don't want to make life any harder than it needs to be, so I'm just going to stick with Delaney for Miss, with Miss Quiet for now. But I was just like, I mean, like, I'm not going to be Miss Quiet forever, I don't feel like. I'm not. Eventually, I hopefully I'll be Mrs. something, and I don't know. But, I mean, it's okay. I really do like my last name, and I've been Miss Quiet for a long time now, and I feel like I should kind of fool with it. We'll see what happens. I don't know yet. How long have I had a YouTube? So I technically made my YouTube in 2012 and it was actually, it was this channel and I made American Girl Doll Stop Motion videos and by American Girl Stop Motion I mean like you take a doll and you move it an inch and you take a picture and then you move it an inch again and then I would put all that stuff into iMovie or Windows Movie Maker and I would make it, each picture super duper short so it looked like the doll was moving on its own and I made literal miniatures for these dolls I had a six foot doll house for my American Girl Dolls at one point in time and this was when I was 12 and I didn't end until I was 16. I really enjoyed it though. Like I truly, really enjoyed it. I really, really did. Like I wasn't doing it for anyone but me. I had 400 subscribers and I was living. I was literally living my life. I was having a great time. My parents were really supportive too. Cause you know like, 
kind of like an old age to start playing with dolls. I feel like 12 was an old age to start playing with dolls, but they were supportive. And I feel like it helped me get it out of my system. So now like I don't judge people for having hobbies that they might think is embarrassing, because I get it. If you find a hobby that you enjoy, forget it. Don't worry about what other people think. Just do something every day that makes you enjoy your life. It doesn't matter what society says. I'm a total like advocate for that. So yeah, that's why I started my YouTube and I made videos from 2012 to 2016 or 20, the end of 2015 I'd say, like fall of 2015 I made videos. And then I made them all private because I went to public school because I was homeschooled for the early parts of my life until I was 16 actually basically. I was homeschooled. And then I went to public school, made my YouTube private because I thought that was embarrassing. I didn't want anyone to see it. But now I don't really care. Like what are you going to do? Who's going to check me? What? That I played with dolls since I was 16? Okay. But look at me now. I look fine. I'm a regular functioning adult. I think really, I really don't care. Part of me wants to make them unprivate but then like it'll make my channel look messy because I'm sure it's probably still a thing. Probably. I don't know if dolls are obsolete or not yet. But also it's like they're old anyway. I know people don't really care about old videos and they weren't the best things ever. If you guys ever want me to unprivate, make my videos unprivate so you can see them, then just let me know because it's kind of funny. I had multiple channels too. I had like at least two other channels where I was uploading videos. I was part of a collab channel at one point where I was like making one video a week with six other girls. I think I ran the channel actually. I was, I've been into YouTube for a minute so I'm not new to this but I've had my channel since 2012 but from 2015 to like 2018 I think I didn't make videos. I was just living my life I stopped caring I always felt like when I got to college I would start making videos again I don't know why I waited that long high school would have been the time because now I'm always busy but it's whatever it's what I did but I was right I make videos again now look at me <laughs> so it's kind of funny this my whole life I had a feeling that YouTube was kind of for me and I would be back and I just felt like this was in my future and now here we are so it makes me so happy that it's in my future because I love this stuff guys I love it I love it I love yeah so then I started making videos again 2018 but barely you know like posting a video like once every month well once every six months trash videos no effort but they're still on my channel they're kind of funny because I've always been like a clown I don't know some of those videos I laugh at because I'm like why would you have said that on camera and uploaded it like what the heck why do you have such like a sailor's mouth too I don't know you guys should watch some of my older videos because they're kind of it's like funny and, and like the fact like why would she do that like what would the heck that's why I don't want to take them down because I think I appreciate my authenticity in those videos for sure I have to tone it down now like I'm monetized so and I even before I was monetized I was weeping out my cuss words and stuff because I don't want to be like bad for younger people you know I don't want to be like I don't want to be a bad influence I don't want to be like vulgar I want to be ladylike now and stuff but I do think it was funny that I was that like open and just like just but I don't even know how to describe it. You just gonna have to watch them. If you wanna know what I'm talking about, watch my crochet braids video or watch my what's in my purse video. Those are the best examples of what I'm trying to say right now. What is my zodiac sign? So I am an Aquarius sun. I'm a Leo rising and a Scorpio moon. I feel like, I don't know that much about the zodiacs, not gonna lie. But I do know a little bit about Aquarius and Leo and Scorpio, of course. I really don't really feel like I resonate with my sign, though. I'm gonna say that right now. I really definitely have always felt more like a Leo than an Aquarius. I feel like I've always related to more Leo actions than Aquarius actions and mindsets. People always guess. When they guess my sign, they always guess Leo, too. But a rising sign, isn't that how you project yourself to be anyway? So it makes sense, but I don't know. I just don't really feel that much of the Aquarius in me very often. But, I mean, you can't reject your sign, so I I'm not gonna reject it, but I will say that I definitely feel more as like an Leo than an Aquarius. I don't feel like I was supposed to be an Aquarius, but it's okay. As long as I got a Leo rising, you know, like if I didn't have a Leo in me, I would be so confused. I'd be like, what the heck? But I probably wouldn't be this woman either. I would be a different woman, so. My next question is, any advice for high school girls? Okay, I love giving advice. First of all, um, if you guys ever need advice from me, feel free to DM me on Instagram, and I will try to respond because I love giving advice. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to save you from your problems, but if you want to hear my two cents on your problems, then let me know because I love giving advice, and I like solving people's problems, or at least trying to. I don't know which year you're in, girl, but I would say that, first of all, don't get caught up. And high school drama because it literally I just can't stress this enough high school is like a it's like a scam it literally doesn't mean anything once you graduate it doesn't matter doesn't matter nothing that happened in high school matters whatsoever I feel like in high school I felt like the only thing that mattered was high school I didn't care about the next county over I didn't give a shit about them I don't care what you're doing you're worthless you're not in my high school people who went to college I didn't care about them oh they are relevant they left that's embarrassing and then I went to college and I got awakened you know I got awakened life in high school is, a, is like it's just like a bubble maybe 
maybe not for everyone because I'm from a really small town and it's already really isolated here but I feel like just when you leave just know that the hierarchies fall apart immediately as soon as you graduate that's done so just don't stress about any bullying don't stress about drama don't stress about boys because the fact of the matter is there's so much more out there. High school can feel monumental and it can feel like a kingdom that you're living in, but it's not. It's really just like, it's kind of like a joke. It really is kind of a joke. I feel like my high school days weren't real. And at the time, I really was into high school. I was into it. Focus on getting scholarships. Apply for scholarships now. Apply for scholarships now. Because I didn't realize that life was real. I really went for the motions my whole life. I was just like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm at graduation? What? I'm at graduation? And then, like, when it was time for college, and it was too late for me to apply for scholarships, so now I'm in debt, your girl's in debt, because I didn't apply for scholarships when I probably could have gone to my school for free, my college for free. Isn't that sad? It was really sad. So now I'm in debt. I'm in debt, debt. And debt is not fun, but it's fine. It's really fine. It's like, every, you're gonna be in debt no matter what, so don't stress too much. But definitely prioritize applying for scholarships and apply to your colleges early if you're trying to get in. If you're really trying to get into a college, apply early. And if you really went into a college, and you get waitlisted waitlist yourself that my last tip guys for um, high schoolers is if you want to do something like YouTube if you got ambitions if you want to become self-made boss and you want to build your own empire whether that's social media starting a business anything you should start now because the younger you are first of all the more time you have the less pressure you have to feel like are running out of time I'm like oh my god I'm 20 kind of generous 21 so what have you done for your life Delaney no that's not a good mindset first of all because you can have success at any age but starting young is awesome Oh my gosh, I wish that I would have cared about my life when I was 16 or 17. I would be in a much better place right now, but I'm still in a good place. I picked up the pace, guys, but I will say just work on yourself in high school. If you're not feeling it, work on yourself because after you leave, guys, you can show them what's up. Guys, I was an ugly, little, just mean, dramatic girl in high school. I was, I was fun, I was nice, and I had a lot of friends, but like I was also kind of just like, I feel like I was mean-spirited. I got caught up in the drama, thought it was fun, all this stuff. And I just wasn't emotionally intelligent whatsoever, never knew how I felt, never understood anything, just going with emotions and acting out how I felt, which also has to do with me being bipolar. So I didn't really know I was bipolar, so that's not gonna be everyone. But I will say, just like, focus on self-growth because high school doesn't last forever, but you're with yourself this whole life and you need to make sure you're the best version of yourself because when you get out into the real world, you're gonna realize, like I realized last fall, how many problems I had, like how many deep set problems I had that I had to fix on top of staying on top of my college education and it was still a lot it was overwhelming it was like every day like great I have an eating disorder and I'm perpetually messy and I'm super duper clumsy and I'm not organized at all and I'm late to everything and I have no balance in my life and I don't know how to study it was endless stuff it was endless stuff one more tip yeah sorry I have a lot of tips see like I told you I like, give advice my last tip for high schoolers I've learned how to study now I know high school is easy high school I didn't do anything I literally didn't do anything and like you could do your I could study for a test and the class before that test was supposed to be taken and get an A on the test but even then I wouldn't even study that happened one time other than that refuse to study but anyway high school is super easy but you should learn how to study now because you don't want to get to college and not know how to study because it's not really optional in college and I got to college and I didn't know how to study and I didn't do anything my first semester and I got an academic probation and academic probation is no joke because they send a letter to your parents and you look like a disappointment it's just not fun college is no joke my next question is where am I from I'm from Arkansas in the United States but I lived I've lived in Indiana for basically my my whole life and oh my gosh first of all I don't really like America really I really don't guys and I'm just gonna be honest about that this place isn't for you unless you're rich and white sorry it's not it's not for you they don't protect you they don't care about you this place is so corrupt so evil and so greedy but I'm not a I don't want to put my political agenda on to you guys I try to not talk about politics because I don't like talking about politics because I feel like when I find out someone has political views that just really are go against other people's basic human rights and stuff I can't respect them but I want to be respectful to everyone and I will say I don't like America and I wish I wasn't from here. Also, everyone thinks it's like, I don't know, people think it's beautiful or something and everything looks like California. But the majority of America is so boring and it's so rural, like rural, rural, rural. I live in a rural area. I don't know how to say it though. Rural king. But it's so like bland and boring and vast and empty and just really a lot of farmland. Yeah, so I want to move out west. I wanted to move to Atlanta or Texas or Arizona, but those places like Georgia, the South is just scary. There's so many terrible private prisons down there. There's so many corrupt cops. People are getting, black people are getting killed for no reason. I'm not gonna live down there now. I don't wanna put me or anyone else's life in danger by moving down there. And I don't wanna live in Texas now because it's really bad. The police there are really bad. It's a police state, same with Arizona. You know, I don't wanna be the person who moves out to California 
it goes broke and ends up on Skid Row or anything. That's terrifying and awful. But I do want to move out west. So maybe Las Vegas once I graduate to start. And then once I have money to sustain the life that I want to live in California, I'll move there. But California does sound like a dream because it's like, that's why everyone wants to move to California because the majority of the United States, nothing happens. Like, it's so boring. It's really, really boring. I'm so bored all the time. Like, there's nothing to do here but to spend money unless you live on a state that's not landlocked. There's nothing. The next question is, are me and my boyfriend still together? And I definitely was thinking about that. Yeah, I was like, you guys probably do think that we broke up because I don't show him on here anymore. Yes, we are still together. I love him so much. He's my baby. He's my king. But I want to let you guys know I hate men. I hate men. I really hate men. I really, really genuinely hate men with a passion. I hate men. And the thought of me before I met him, the thought of me calling any man my king would make me cackle out loud. But he really is a king. Like, he really is. He deserves that name. I sound like I'm a whipped. I kind of am whipped. I'm whipped for the right person and he's whipped too so it's okay it's fine I acknowledge the fact that most men do not deserve to be called a king and I will never call another man a king in my life but he is really a king how did I get so comfortable in front of the camera and I totally feel where you're coming from girl oh my gosh really all I can say to you is practice part of it I did have an advantage because me and my best friend growing up like we made so many videos together we have like a, a, a best friends vlogging channel and it's got over 300 videos that we've just made and then on top of that my other videos to my collab channel my other personal channel I have made a lot of videos in my lifetime so I I have that advantage because I'm already comfortable in front of the camera because I started when I was young anyone can become comfortable in front of the camera and I can make a video on that let me make a video on that sis oh my gosh but it's really also it's just practicing a lot it's just practicing I still also don't think I'm just like immune I get uncomfortable in front of the camera too I mess up a lot and when I started making miss quiet videos I had a terrible time trying to say my um intro put your drinks in my fridge like the coats on my bed you know I would not be able to get through that it would take me like 19 to 20 times before I could get it right and it was so frustrating but it's really just practice 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 and if you film a video and you feel like it's not quality enough to be posted just delete it it's okay to practice not everything has to go up and the more videos you make with every video you make you'll get better you'll get more comfortable and you'll be yourself more um you gotta work on being yourself in front of the camera because if you don't like it's just not gonna be real you're not gonna feel like you relate to your videos and everyone else can tell whether or not somebody knows you they can usually tell whether or not you're being your authentic self so you got to work on that that's your best bet the more that you relax and let go in front of the camera the faster you will become more comfortable in it okay because it's really just you in here nobody's actually watching me right now I'm actually technically alone technically alone so when you think about it like that don't think about here you're sitting on a live stream in front of your subscribers think about it as you're talking to yourself like, I'm right now, I'm talking about reflection. This is how I talk to myself, I guess, you know? I'm just talking to myself technically. Not really, because I really am technically. I'm also, it's a confusing standpoint, but you'll understand what I mean. Like, there shouldn't be any pressure because you're not with anyone right now. And also remember that you can cut out or edit anything you want to cut out. If you don't think you look good there, you can refilm it. If you didn't like how you said that, you can refilm it. If you don't like the fact that you said that sentence, you can cut it out. Like, you don't have to put up anything that you're not comfortable having up. Next question, how did I become a baddie on a budget? Okay guys, one day, one day, I don't know what day it was, but it was the beginning of 2019, I decided I wanted to become an Instagram baddie. Like I saw those girls on Instagram and I was like, I want 10,000 followers. So from January to May 2019, I worked all, I put all my energy into getting to 10K. And I did get into 10K. I would tell you how I did it, but at this point, Instagram's changed so much, I feel like it won't even work. It was exhausting, but I really did put all my effort into that. And I also, like, so I just also just started wanting to dress better. I didn't really take care of myself before. I didn't care about clothes or fashion or looking good whatsoever before 2019. And I just started caring. So I started wearing colored contacts. I started trying new hair. started wearing pink a lot. All of this stuff. And I envisioned what I would look like as my ideal self in the future. And I just kept working towards it. I started learning how to do my edges. Trying again when I looked like garbage. Trying every day. Started wearing lashes every day. That's when I really changed. When you start wearing lashes every day, that's when you become like a true baddie. And you really start caring. But I do feel like... It was mainly the mindset that I adapted. The mindset, I adapted this with ease because it just kind of happened. And it kind of has gone away. Not really gone away, but I've struggled to maintain it sometimes. But it's really just that you have to constantly believe that you're always getting hotter. 
I always believe I'm getting hotter every day. I feel like I was hotter than yesterday. I'm like, wow, look at this character development, guys. Character development, I'm also, I'm always getting smarter. I'm always getting better and I'm always getting hotter. So I'm always getting hotter. In the future, I'm gonna have better clothes than now. I'm becoming more stylish every day. It's just a mindset. You gotta think that about yourself and if you don't believe it, start telling yourself that. Like positive affirmations, you know. Start telling yourself you are always getting hotter. You are always getting more confident. You're always getting richer, you know. And it happens, it really does happen. So I will say that I definitely think I manifested my blow up because you have to work towards that too but like when you invest in yourself you get more attractive and investing in yourself is a great idea investing in your appearance is very important and I feel like I've definitely done that I feel like whenever I buy like new clothes or a new wig or a new type of latch I feel like I've leveled up that's my mindset I feel like when I bring something new into my appearance it's a level up I call them manual glow ups but it's like oh okay so now I'm actually hotter than I was yesterday and I'm gonna continue to get hotter I feel like when I started learning how to do this lip look it's not perfect yet but I'm doing it every day now because I used to try and then give up but now I do it every day and I'm getting older so I got that lift look down you know it's just practice just continue practicing but the budget part just came because I was broke and I hate spending money on clothes and stuff I really do I just like spending money on food I don't know what made me want that I just wanted it I just decided I was tired of being not taken seriously I was tired of being passed over by men tired of being disrespected tired of people tired of people like judging me based on my appearance so I changed it I don't really know. I just was ready to move up. I was ready to move up in life. I've always wanted to be a figure, you know? Wanted to be like somebody that you could like look up to and like, I just want to inspire, I guess. I don't know. But I mean, appearance sells, sex sells, all those things sell, we all know that. Am I in contact with my birth family? No, I'm not. I've never spoken to my birth family before. It was a closed adoption, so I had the opportunity to reach out to them whenever I was 18. But also, there's a huge chance of being rejected by them if I reach out to them and I'm just not really in the I don't really feel like taking that on I have other things I'm working on right now mentally to be my best self and I feel like that would put me back that would definitely like hurt me of course it would hurt me if my parents didn't want to contact me and never told me why so I'm just not really ready for that I'm not ready to take that risk because that could be a big a big plummet to my self-esteem I don't need that right now I'm trying to grow I'm trying to better myself and on top of that being adopted like for my entire life makes it doesn't really seem like I was adopted anymore it definitely just feels like this is, this is my family I don't really think about it on a regular basis so it's just not a priority to me right now next question how old am I I'm 20 20 and five months and I don't know how many days but I'm 20 yeah, I'm 20. Pretty old to have stuffed animals in our room, right? I'm sorry, people give me stuffed animals a lot. And I just have a lot of stuffed animals and I'm a hoarder a little bit. I don't like getting rid of stuffed animals. I think I have almost all my stuffed animals from my childhood. Why do you think people don't use dark skin models as much, which they're clearly the best? Um, because of colorism, of course, and because it's rooted back into um, racism and segregation and all that stuff. People act like they like light-skinned girls better because they just simply, it's a preference, but it's preference because it's been rooted into you by the influence of racism basically like the reason that you think light skin girls are better is because some people might just really think oh wow they're prettier but the reason that you think that they're prettier is because of something it's because that we've been brainwashed to believe that they're more pure than dark skin women because um they are half white that's why that's why you think that you might think it's just a preference but it's because of the influence of the media and society has been telling you that light skin girls are better for so long that you have internalized that. It's not a preference. It's not a preference. It's your internalized racism. No offense. It really is though. I don't dislike light skin girls or anything like that. I don't have any hard feelings to you guys. I hate colorism though because I think that it just, it just rips us apart as a community. It really does. Like it just puts us farther back when we should be fighting against racism instead we're fighting against each other. Who's better? Light skin boy or dark skin boy? You know that argument too that dark skin men are better? Why is that going on? Why why don't we just uplift all of each other? Why don't we just uplift all of us and fight against the actual enemies, you know? Not each other. It's literally just an ongoing false argument to keep us busy so that we don't notice who the real enemies are. But yeah. How did I get so confident? Um, that is like a question that's kind of hard to answer in one video. I actually make a video on that too. I made an old one, but I feel like it wasn't that great because I wasn't actually even that confident at that time. But it's just kind of like you got to fake it until you make it. You have to, you have to shut yourself down when you're having negative thoughts about yourself and remind yourself that's not the truth. This is your only body. You don't get to change and beating yourself up all the time does not in any way, shape or form uplift you. It does not make you prettier to tell yourself you're fat or ugly, you know? It doesn't help you and you got to kind of realize that and be willing to shut those thoughts out and tell them to shut up. But I can make a whole video on that too. I got a lot of videos to make. Damn. 
And I will say, actually, I wasn't always confident because I have had anorexia and stuff. I used to hate my stomach. I hate myself, actually. What's my major? Oh, no, my major is journalism with a concentration in public relations. So that means I'm basically a PR major, but it's not actually a major at my school. So by it's a concentration. So ideally, I would like to have a job in either social media marketing or be somebody's manager, you know, like a specific person's manager, like a celebrity manager, a public figure's manager. I love managing people. I love telling people what to do, how to better themselves, etc. And also, I like social media analytics. I like algorithms and stuff. So one or the other, I'm not sure which yet. I'm still figuring that out, but definitely one of those two things. And my last question is, what are three interesting facts about myself? So I got a lot of really stupid, interesting facts, actually. But I'm gonna just stick to three like I was asked. So the first one is I'm definitely afraid of bathroom fans and I'm ready to face my fear. So I feel like I should make a video of that. But I have a full on phobia of bathroom exhaust fans and it's ruined my life. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's my first fact. My second fact is that I have, um, I've been addicted to Pop-Tarts my whole life. It's actually not something I'm gonna glorify anymore because I used to glorify it. I thought it was like funny, but now it's actually realizing that it was my binge eating trigger. I have a sugar addiction kind of, even though sugar addiction isn't actually real. But yeah, anyway, yes, addicted to Pop-Tarts. So for my open house, my graduation open house, I had $117 of Pop-Tarts there and I had a Pop-Tart bar. Yeah, that's my second fact. I feel like I have told you guys that already. And what's my third fact? See, I have all these facts in my head and now I really film this and I forget. Third fact. Third fact. This is um, a funny fact. My friends think I should make a story time about this. I'm not sure because I don't remember that many details to make it a story because it's not a story. It was more like an experience, but I'm just going to say it anyway. So um, when I was younger, I'm not an atheist, but I my parents sent me to an atheist summer camp in Ohio. I stayed over. Um, I think I went like three times, actually. It was a great camp. I had a great time. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's funny. So yeah, I attended an atheist summer camp when I was like 12, 13, 14, I think. And yeah, that's my last fact. I don't have anything else to say. I don't know. I thought I was I thought I was an interesting person, but I guess I forgot everything about me just now. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you feel like you know me a little bit better now. You know who's talking to you about all these clothes and all these other various things, you know. And I hope you feel like we're a little bit closer now, because I do. Don't forget to comment down below answering one of these questions in the comments so I can learn a little bit about you too. And um don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you like me and want more content and if you want to see a little bit more about me I have a get to know me also later back in my channel I don't know if it's called or not it's kind of old but yeah you can learn a little bit more about me I might have repeated some things I'm not sure though whatever it's fine it's my channel so it doesn't really matter <laughs> I'm just kidding well it is my channel but it's not, I'm not like that but anyway I love you guys so much I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time okay bye